Hi everyone, this is Isa from Print Stick, and in this video I will teach you how to make washi tape clip art that you can use for digital planning or digital scrapbooking or anything else you want. If you haven't yet watched my first video on how to make digital stickers, I recommend you do that first. You don't have to, but I explain a few things over there that I will assume you know already when making a washi in this tutorial. So we're gonna be using the same app called Vectornator. So you're gonna click on your app and we're gonna select new document, custom size. Now the size here, um, if you remember from our last video, uh, it just means that we're creating an artboard to work on. So it doesn't, that doesn't mean that the sticker is gonna be this size. But in this case, since we want to make a washi strip, I think that we should select a size that represents like a long rectangle, but it doesn't have to be exact and you may change the shape and size of your sticker at the end anyway. So don't worry too much about this. I will just pick three inches by one inch. Make sure that inches is selected and click done and create. Now it's a good habit to rename your documents, as you can see I don't really do this often, but we will do it right now. So just click on where it says document 1, there's a small X to the right side that is really hard to see, but click there. And then you can type washi, or whatever name you want to give it, and then done. Now click on that document to open it. Perfect, and this is our artboard. As you can see there's nothing on it, not even color, this is transparent. So. The first thing we're gonna do, we will grab our rectangle tool, which is this one here on the toolbar, and now tap and drag across the screen to make around the shape and size that you want your washi to be. I think this is good for me. We want to change this white color, so on the top left corner you have this arrow icon and that's going to automatically select your shape. If it doesn't by any reason, having that same arrow selected, just tap on the shape again and you will be able to select it. So let's click on this white color on the bottom left to open our color window and I will select this purple color and then just click anywhere outside to close this window and let's just center this uh, shape a little bit so it's easier to work perfect the next thing we're gonna do having the shape selected go to this second icon from the first column of icons on the left side so right here I hope you can see it it has a little like line with a plus sign that's the icon you want to click and what that's going to do is going to add points to your vector. If you remember from our previous video, um, then you'll know that vectors are formed by these points. So we want to create this um, signature look of the washi tape, which is like, you know, it's not perfectly cut at the ends. So now we have a perfect line, a perfect shape. We want to change that. So we need to add points to be able to modify the structure of our sticker. So having that icon selected, just tapping on the edge, all these like squares that you see appearing, these are actually dots that will allow me to oh, modify my shape. I can um, make bigger by pinching on the screen and zooming in and I can add more. Now you're wondering what are these little dots for? So once you've added them, now we need to move them around. So to change tools we're gonna go to the second arrow on the top and what that's gonna do that's gonna allow us to select these dots and move them okay so we're gonna start by the the second dot here from the bottom and just drag it you know you're gonna start getting the hang of it and you decide where to put it but basically moving these dots will allow us to create this effect that the washi was cut imperfectly you know so one dot goes down one goes up and maybe I zoomed in a little too much maybe we don't need that much detail so yeah I'm gonna make these a little bigger because otherwise I would oops I would need like so many of these so a little more spread out like that 
as you can see all this segment right here uh, doesn't have any dots so again we go to the plus to the line with the plus sign icon first we select our shape then we go to that second icon and we just add more dots keep adding and then go back to the second arrow to keep modifying your dots if you if you open these like levers um just um just select undo and then go back to uh, modifying your dots so yeah maybe you shouldn't zoom in as much as i am doing because because it will make you create like a ton of um detail and we don't need that I, like that looks fine already it's a ton of um you know different like triangles my shape is a little too perfect you can you know spend as much time as you want here uh, modifying each dot going like a little bit to the sides you know um whatever look you want or these ones i feel they're all like around in the same line so you can move it around as much as you want all right now i'm just gonna quickly do the other side i'm gonna speed this part up So another quick note, if you have this line with the plus icon selected um, and you have your shape selected, you're going to see all the dots that you have. And if you accidentally have an extra dot that you don't really need, sometimes you can just leave it there. It's not going to affect your shape. But if you want to get rid of it, go again to that icon and then just click on the dot tab with your pencil and it's going to disappear. Just so you know. Okay, so now that's the shape of our washi. How easy was that? That's amazing. And what we want to do now is to create a, a pattern. You could use this tape just as it is, but let's just add some sort of like polka dot um, pattern. So select your circle shape tool in the toolbar, and then you're gonna tap and drag the same way we created the rectangle in the beginning. So tap and drag. You can see it because it's the same color. Let me do it out here. And if you, as you're dragging, if you just put your finger down on the screen, that's gonna make a perfect circle. If I remove my finger, it turns into whatever I'm creating, whatever shape, it's an oval. So it's hard to get it perfect without um, my finger down. But as soon as I put my finger down, look, turns into a perfect circle and then I can keep dragging my pencil and that's gonna make the circle bigger or smaller without deforming it so let's see let's keep it that's up that size so when you're doing this I'll make one again so when you I'm dragging my pencil then I put my finger on the screen and then I have to remove my pencil before my finger if I don't then the shape is gonna end up deformed okay so here we have this circle i'm gonna actually use this one so we will delete this one just select it and hit on the trash can icon to get rid of it and i want this circle to be white so here in the color icon i'm just gonna find my white color which is usually just the top left corner and now it's white and now i'm gonna place this shape over my washi but I, I need many circles, not just one. So select the shape and where it says edit, you have two options. You can just duplicate and that's kind of comfortable because it, it even moves it um, away. So edit again and duplicate, edit again and duplicate. And this time it's kind of like going out of the artboard. So another thing you can do is just click edit, copy, edit, paste. This is a little longer, but you'll see after you have all these shapes let me go to my layers open this layer one and as you can see i have every circle is like its own separate layer and the first layer the bottom layer right here is the um actual washi shape like the rectangle we drew in the beginning so i want to lock that one because i'm not going to move that shape right now so as you can see now I can I just have my circle layers ready to be edited. So let me get out of there. Now with the arrow selected, tap and drag across the screen to select all the circles. And then click on edit, copy, edit, paste. 
you cannot see, but the circles are right here. So this option, you can either duplicate or use this option, especially if you're trying to make an exact pattern that, you know, has is arranged in a, in a mathematical way. Then you want to do this option because it's easy to just move the whole thing and keep it aligned. If you did um, duplicate, it's just going to put it somewhere else. Okay. So just so you know, you can use either one of those options to repeat your um, shapes. Okay, so now I will just like, you know, move these circles around. This is definitely not a perfect polka dot pattern, but it doesn't matter. We're just gonna, you know, it's our own washi. We can do whatever we want. So let's see something like this. Just make it look okay. Oh, it's all right if all these circles are, you know, like they're outside of the shape. I will show you how to hide everything and make it perfect at the end. Okay, so when you're happy with your pattern, you can't really see what the final, you know, look is yet, but I think that's pretty good. So we go back to the layers. Now we want to unlock the bottom layer. Great, get out of there. Now select on that, on that shape, and now we want to copy and paste. I do this because I want it in the same place. Okay, so now, just don't forget, you can go back to your layers and see what you have. But if, I'll, I'll explain. We have our first shape that we drew, which is like the color, the um, piece, you know, what's going to give our washi the color. Then we have the items that form the, the pattern of the washi. In this case, it's white. You could use any color you want, but usually white looks fine. And then the top shape is exactly the same as the first one but it's on top of everything okay just keep that in mind because the next thing we're gonna do is click and drag across the screen to select all the shapes and then you're gonna go to path and here it says mask click there and now what this did is whatever shape was on top is covering everything that's under it's kind of like cutting out that shape, uh, whatever is under, will be cut in that shape. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's why it's important that the shape that you want to um, create is on top of everything else, okay? In this case, both shapes, the bottom and the top shapes, were like the exact same shape. But in other occasions, for example, the bottom shape could be bigger and just like our circles were not fitting the washi perfectly, then the bottom color could have been the same. But the top layer, the top shape is what matters because that's what's going to hide, you know, the rest. I don't know if I'm making any sense and you don't really have to understand it, but just know that this is the way you do it. Awesome. So we have this shape, this sticker that we could use as it is, but if we want to make it even more realistic like washi, then we need to make it transparent. So we open our layers menu again, and as you can see, we have this mask right here. I'm not sure what this, okay, sorry. So this oval apparently is something I have out here that I can't even see. Maybe I made a tiny oval. I'm just gonna delete that. I didn't even realize that was there. So now we open the layers and we only have our mask. So you can't really see what's um, inside. You just know that there's a mask. So that means that this item is formed by other items. If you wanted to like change, let's say the dots, because you're like, no, this corner dot is like really ugly. So click on the shape, path, unmask, and you go back to all of your shapes. So you can move this around and be like, okay, that's better. Then select everything again, path, mask. Perfect. Okay, so I was saying transparency. So select your shape, go to your layers, and here, right at the bottom where you have this bar where it says 100%, if you click and slide it down, that's actually going to change the transparency. So remove your pencil and you will see the result of what you selected. So let's just play around, see what looks good. You can see the squares behind the shape, so that's how you know how transparent it is. If I go this way, then it's completely transparent, you can't see anything. So I think I'm going to do a 60 or... Maybe a 70. I'll do a 65. Perfect. I like that. So close this menu. And that's it. 
that is how you made your very own washi now the same way as before if you want you can export so you would select the washi and hit on the share or export button on the top right corner and select png remember that you want transparency saved so that you don't have this white background and just save select your destination or just go to save image which is going to save it to your camera roll cancel or you can just hit edit copy go to your planner tap and hold and paste and that's it guys that's how you made your very own washi this with this dot you can move it around and once it's placed remember that you can just tap on the image keep holding your finger and then edit and you can you will have this little dot again so you can rotate or you can change the size. So if you want to use it with a photo, just insert your photo in your planner. I have this one of my baby, of course. Scale it down and you can move it, rotate it a little. And my wash is way too big, but I'm gonna change that. Maybe there, I'll go zoom in rotate okay so now the wash is behind the photo because i had the washi there before the photo so the way i'm gonna fix that i'm going to select my washi with the lasso tool and cut it and then paste it again so that it's on top of the photo just like that Okay, so that is all. I hope that you find this tutorial helpful. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up to let me know. Don't forget to subscribe and let me know in the comments below what you would like to see next and I will try my best to make a video about it. Thank you and until next time.